Please welcome 1998 Full Sail graduate and Gary's wife, Jennifer Rizzo. Okay, you're gonna have to excuse me because I am a Rizzo by marriage, so if I, that reel was so moving to me. If I burst into tears, just give me a second. Um, hmm, honey, how awesome was that, Kevin? <laughs> Um, let me take a second. We just arrived at Full Sail. We've been here twice in the last, um, I want to say, three or four months. And um, you guys have reminded us how much family means to us. Gary and I both grew up very, very, very close to our families. And the film industry brought us both to the West Coast. So we um, are on opposite ends from our loved ones. And it's nice to know that we still have family down here in Florida to come home to. After all, you did um, inadvertently somehow brought a interesting little love story together. So um, anyway, let me get started. Gary A. Rizzo, he's an Aquarius. His favorite color is green. He likes sushi, sleeping in, daddy-daughter time, and space shuttle launches. His dislikes are water sports, confrontation, a sense of entitlement, and G.W. Bush. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, I was asked to present Gary today because supposedly I know him best. Now, I don't know how true that is or how not true that is, but um, I thought about it, and um, I guess professionally and personally, um, I have worked for him, with him, and, you know, five years marriage against him at times. <laughs> it happens. Um, the truth is, anyone that's met Gary, spent even a few minutes with him, gets a good sense of who he really is. And um, just as his sister-in-law, or my sister-in-law said yesterday, he is in true Rizzo fashion, someone that wears his heart on his sleeve. Because seriously, I have a little secret for you. He is the worst liar. He is absolutely incapable. So if you meet him, be confident. Who you see, who you meet is who you get. Um, so with that said, I'm not going to go on and on about who Gary, Gary Rizzo is. Um, I'd like to reflect and touch on what truly draws people to Gary Rizzo. And I came up with a couple things drive, passion, that is truly awe-inspiring. He has a genuine interest in not only his own, but everyone's potential to be great and do great. That's his lifeblood. Energy just, as you can see from that reel, just seeps from his pores. You can't help but feel that anything is possible. Now his resume, two Oscar noms, it speaks volumes on how these traits rocketed his professional career. But what I want you to understand that this is how Gary is every single day, all the time. Um, I'll give you a couple examples from just a couple weeks ago. Um, anyone that knows me, I am a huge Green Day fan. Favorite band ever, 15 years. And we live in the Bay Area, and um, I got wind that they were playing a secret show uh, somewhere in downtown San Francisco. And um, I texted him and said, honey, he's in the middle of a marketing meeting at Skywalker Sound. God knows who he was meeting with. But um, he texts me back and he says, I'm home in five minutes. Get your butt ready. You better be waiting to get out the door. I have a two-year-old that I have just put down for a nap. And I'm thinking, I don't have tickets. What are you, crazy? I'm a mom. This is completely irresponsible. He gets home and he says, what are you, why aren't you dressed? Get the car keys, you need to go. This is what it's about. This is what it's all about. You need to go, I live off of this stuff. Um, that, again, that's who he is. Another example I've thought of, just a casual conversation we had about a drummer, a friend of ours who actually cuts Gary's hair, a totally tattooed out rocker, and uh, Gary told him, hey man, Smashing Pumpkins are having an open auditions for a drummer, a new drummer in LA. You need to go, you need to pack your stuff, you need to go. J.D. didn't go. He comes to me and says, can you believe J.D. didn't go? 
I said, well, honey, we're talking about the Smashing Pumpkins here. We're not talking about some garage band in Berkeley. He says, yeah, but you got to try. And that's when it hit me. That was like, Gary really knows no other way. He knows no other way to be. It's mind-boggling that people do not just go for it. And um, I truly believe this is why he has gotten to where he has gotten. Um, there is, the word can't is not in his vocabulary. Um, and this is why every day Gary is fulfilling greatness. And those closest to him, I believe, fulfill a bit of greatness every day. Now, a little bit of constructive criticism, honey. <laughs> <laughs> own those accomplishments. I mean, seriously, you go above and beyond for yourself and for everybody around you, and you are truly an inspiration. Another tiny, tiny little story. We were at the Governor's Ball at this recent Oscar trip, and uh, Queen, Latifa, the Queen, he, Gary got, he, he was so enamored by her. She was so statuesque. He came up to her and wanted to introduce himself. But he said, hi, my name is Gary Rizzo, and um, I'm just a sound guy. She put him in his place so fast. She looked down at him and she said, why do you sound guys always do that? Do you know how much I would sound like if I didn't have people like you? So I guarantee that he knew from then on that he wouldn't be doing that again. And now I am honored as a full sale graduate myself to induct my husband 1993 Full Sail University graduate and Oscar-nominated re-recording mix engineer Gary Rizzo into the Full Sail University Hall of Fame.